Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I don't usually talk about my feelings and how horse rescue makes me feel, but this week it's made me feel absolutely defeated. And the reason for that is because Bowie Texas Livestock, their website of available horses, has four pages of horses that are available to rescue. And that's probably over 50 horses, I would say. Uh, out of those 50 horses, there are six Belgian draft horses. Some of them are on the direct ship list, and some of them, hi Will, some of them are on the direct ship list and others are not. Um, as much as I would like to rescue all six of them and take all 50 horses off their website, I just can't do that because we don't have the space. But what we are doing is we are working on rescuing three of the Belgians, two geldings and a mare. And these are the horses that we're looking at rescuing right now. 995 of the Bowie, Texas livestock, Belgian gelding. He's 18 hands. He is 18 years of age. Another big stout, shapey horse right here. He's going to be a little off in the front end. He's not terrible. This horse came in with all those other Belgians. They've retired off a lot of them. They're not going to work them anymore. But uh, I think you get a set of pads on this horse right here. Should help them out a bunch. Now if you're interested in him, he is with BowieTexasLifestock.com. You this is one of the geldings that stood out to me from the entire group. This poor guy looks like he's just been worked to the bone, like so many of our other horses here on our farm. It looks like he has arthritis possibly in those front legs, but we won't know the extent until we can rescue him, get him here, and get him to the vet for medical attention. He is one of the two geldings that we are looking at rescuing. Horse is getting around pretty darn decent. His legs are clean. I think he just needs maybe some shoeing towards that front end and sure will help him out. Nice horse, I said it can pull pretty good. Been used on the road and on the farm. That's a nice big gel that he's with BowieTexasLivestock.com. 29.99 with the Bowie Texas Livestock, big Belgian gelding. He's 18.3, he is six years of age. Nice big horse right here. Now all these horses came in together. He's gonna to be the last one of them. They all came in with halters on, direct reason why you shouldn't keep them on and have these halters too tight because this one is stuck to his face right here. The direct example where you can see all the sores when you're leaving these halters on these horses. Now he is with BowieTexasLifestock.com. He's a little hikey in the back legs. That is the way he's going to be. Tag number 2999. He's just six years old, and he's a pretty darn big boy right there. This horse absolutely broke my heart. To only be six years old and already at the kill pen in the condition that he's in, that's just not fair for him. He needs to have a soft landing and a retirement place to live out the rest of his life. I did reach out to Dr. Wagner to ask her what the hikey legs in the back could possibly be. She said it could be arthritis or it could be a neurological condition. Again, this is a horse that we would need to get here, get rescued, and get to the vet for medical attention. But he is definitely one that we're looking at trying to rescue as well. Pretty darn big Belgian gelding. He stands 18-3. Lot number 2992 at the Bowie, Texas Livestock is going to be a Belgian mare, 16-1. She is 17 years of age. Nice big gentle mare. She is quiet. She has been used in all phases of uh, the farm work, pulling wagons, being used on, uh, on the farm and out on the road. She's going to be a big gentle mare. Our tag number is 2992. She is with BowieTexasLivestock.com. As I said, they have used her in all the farm work. She is going to be quiet. Over the last couple of years, they have gotten some good babies off her, they said. And that she is a good mom. This beautiful girl is on the direct ship list, so she does not have a lot of time left. She does look like she has some arthritis in those front legs, possibly. Uh, she walks like some of the other horses that we have. But again, she will be one of the other horses that we're looking to rescue, and we would need to get her to the vet for medical attention to find out what she has going on in those front legs as well and why she's a little lame. 
So because we weren't planning on rescuing any more horses, we are doing a fundraiser to raise the money that we're going to need for their bail, transport, and initial medical costs. So if you guys can support us in any way, shape, or form, we would truly appreciate it. Every dollar counts and helps go towards these horses' rescue. So all the information to the fundraiser is on our website at BigHoofFoundation.org. And I really hate to ask for donations again. I really want to just post videos and show you how these guys are living their lives here at the farm. But it's just, uh, it's breaking our hearts to see these horses um, in the condition that they're in for one, in two, that they're, they're all being being shipped to slaughter and this it's just not fair for these horses so we're going to try to rescue these three horses our goal is to pick them up at the beginning of next week if we can raise the funds and again um, i will do another video um, i was supposed to do that this week but these horses came up and everyone's been messag messaging me about them and we just want to try to get at least three of these horses saved um, you know as much as i would like to save all six of them we just we just really can't i would really like to save all 50 of them but we just don't have the space here on the farm so <clears throat> but we are trying to rescue these three horses and like i said the information is at the big hoof and we just truly appreciate your support and can't thank you enough for everything that you all have done for us Without your support, none of these horses would be rescued. And I think our total, if we rescue these three horses, will be up to rescuing 50 horses in the last three years. I know that doesn't sound like much, but for a little tiny farm that we didn't think was gonna be anything besides a couple donkeys, this farm has turned into, into so much more and it's all because of your support, help, and generosity. So again, thank you all so much. We'll keep you posted as to how the fundraiser is going. Uh, don't forget we have our Patreon account too. Uh, we've got some subscribers to there. We're gonna be doing special content all the time, uh, daily videos of the horses and pictures of the horses and membership to our Patreon account is only $5 per month so head on over there and check it out there's all kinds of different um, videos that we posted and pictures of the horses and we've gotten a lot of great feedback from the people that have joined as members so far so again head on over to our patreon account and there'll be a link in the description below and I will also put a link in the description below to the fundraiser to save these three horses so again thank you all so much for your support and we'll see you soon thanks bye